Like the show on Facebook. Search SD Luxury Listings. How are we doing? We're doing good. We are doing great. We are here in Point Loma, one of my favorite communities here in San Diego because we're so close to the water and we have this amazing home that you're just putting on the market. Give us the overview, Todd. The house is uh, five bedrooms, five and a half baths. It's got a library. It's uh, about 4,500 square feet. It's got a pool, solar. It's got pretty much everything you need right two blocks from the beach. Um, so we're right in the middle of La Playa in Point Loma which is a highly desirable area. And we got some amazing views from up in the master suite. So you'll see that later. Very nice. And of course, all of you guys remember Todd from the show. We've done so many amazing homes with him and his team. A big shout out to Ryan and Scott and John. Actually, the Scripps Mansion just closed, which is viral. And you guys should go check it out just because why not? Uh, but you guys are with Compass and you guys have a big title. You've always worked with celebrities, but now what's your title with Compass? It's just, we're just, we're just part of the sports and entertainment division. There's only a select few in the entire nation that's part of it. Um, and actually, we're going to have some big news coming up. Um, but yeah, we're really focusing in our sports and entertainment uh, clients right now. And we're just going to take it full forward in 2020. Very nice. Well, back to the house. And uh, Todd, I'm kind of looking around. Um, and in a home like this, you have to look down and you got to look up. Give us an overview of everything. The owner's originally from Albuquerque, New Mexico. So they love the Spanish style, you know. So they, you know, you can see the teal color of the island over there is picked up in the, in the, in the Spanish tile on the stairs. Um, that's purposely, purposely done. And one of my favorite rooms in the house is right over here. And that's the wine cellar. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's take a look. Well, when you say wine cellar, you got to have a look. Now, how many bottles roughly can you fit here? Was that 300 and what did we just say? About 300 plus. <laughs> Three, 300 plus. And, uh, too many to drink in one night. We'll say that. I don't know. <laughs> if you're Todd, yeah, you can, you can put a dent in that. <laughs> they love the cook. Like Fred's the cook. So this is the Blue Star Professional Grill. Um, over here, you got the Melee built-in coffee maker. You got the uh, top of the line Sub-Zero fridge with the glass door, so you're not wasting time opening it. My mom used to smack me when I was opening the door too much to look inside <laughs> the fridge. This one, you can look right in the window and see what's in there. Very cool. And Todd, with a center island like this, you, I mean, we've seen a lot of beautiful islands. This is, first off, really large. Secondly, it's almost like a statement in this level of the property. It is. They're going to be using this at their next home. They're, you know, obviously we're selling this or buying another one. They're going to do the exact same thing in their new home. Oh, wow. So back here, this is the, one of the bedrooms that's downstairs. It's the guest bedroom. And uh, it's got its own, all the bedrooms have its own ensuite bathroom and shower, full bath. Good thing about this, you're right adjacent to the pool and you're adjacent to the rose garden. We have a full bath right here. Um, they use it like, you even have a section here with a little unique feature. It's the dog run, but the dog has a special collar and that the door will only open for their dog. Wow, so we'll no show way. That, we'll show that later. That's so. a first that we've seen in the show. So this can almost be the dog room. It pretty much is. We've, we've seen crazier <laughs> in the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All righty, and here we are upstairs and it feels just as good up here as it does down there. So over here you have bedrooms, bedroom. This one's converted to a gym. You have a Jack and Joe bathroom with dual sinks. I mean, look at this view with the, with the office. Who would want to work in this office and stare out at that view? I mean, that's the best part about it. And it's, you know, it's overlooking the whole entire bay, the city. I mean, you can see Coronado, you can see all the water, the sailboats going by, the cruise ships, yeah. you know, all that good stuff. So back here, another bedroom, but they actually, this could be used as a bedroom, an optional six bedroom if you really want it. Um, this is actually a library that they 
They did. And it's got a, a full bath as well. Now I could imagine being here in the library in the winter when it gets to a whopping 60 degrees here in San Diego <laughs> exactly. with the, the fireplace on, reading a book. Okay, I lied. I'd have an audible book. I'd have the headphones in <laughs> and I'd be sitting here probably saying, why am I not at the pool? Master Retreat. Master Retreat. Oh man. Imagine waking up to this view every day. What do you love about this room? I mean, what's really not to love about this room? Yeah, I mean, look at all the light, and obviously the best part is the view. And one thing that I've noticed is when they built this home, they really thought about using the outside. You know, using the natural air, the breeze that you get from the bay, from the beach, because Sunset Cliffs is just on the other side of the hill here, which is so beautiful in and of itself. First thing you'll notice is his and hers walk-in closet, so there's plenty of closet space, especially um, if you have a lot of clothes like tie dust. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and his shoes, like a Mel DeMarco shoes. There we go. I have a lot of clothes. I do. I, I can't lie. You know, I need a lot of clothes. We tour a lot of homes. So check out this bathroom. Big, huge shower. You could probably fit six people in there. Big, um, big soaking tub. And then if, we'll see if Ty's paying attention what kind of tile this was. Woven tile. Basket weave. Basket weave. <laughs> there we go. I told you, I keep looking at the pool. My mind goes everywhere. <laughs> now, Todd, we've seen the downstairs. We've seen three master retreats in my eyes. Yep. Uh, the master bath. But are you ready for that really awesome deck that we just looked at? Yeah, that's the rooftop deck. We'll go check it out. I'll show you the view out there. Oh man, feel the sun and feel the California breeze. There's nothing better than this. Like perfect living here in San Diego. And I love how the homeowners have this set up. It seems like they might be having a glass of wine from that wine cellar out here. Yeah, or coffee. And then if you want to sunbathe in the morning or in the evenings, you have to have um, all the tools necessary. Yep, exactly. Very cool. Now, Todd, what do you love about San Diego? What do you love about La Playa? Because we're in La Playa, um, which is a special part of Point Loma. Well, look how close you are to the city. Um, you have all the different activities you, wanted, uh, you ever wanted to do. You have yachting and sailing and fishing and diving. I mean, everything is right here within a couple blocks. The restaurant scene is amazing down here. It's a good Italian restaurant. I mean, you name it, they have it down here. It's really good. And what I love about this area in Point Loma is all the options that you have. Mission Beach is maybe a 10 minute drive. Ocean Beach is maybe a five minute drive. Downtown is a 10 minute drive. The airport is less than 10 minutes away. And then if you want a, just a relaxing day or maybe you want to get a workout in, for me, a relaxing day, uh, you're going to go out to Cabrillo National Monument. Yeah, you can go right, it's right out there, go tide pools, go visit the, 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 lighthouse. the lighthouse and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful out there. Very cool. Now we're still overlooking the pool, so I think it's time we get down there. Yeah, let's take a look. Here we are in the, the outdoor living room of this house. Um, this is amazing because you can sit out here with the fireplace. This is the epitome of San Diego living right here. Big screen TV, you can sit out here and watch your sports when they do come back on. Um, even if it's raining, you know, your covered space here, you got the fireplace going, glass of wine. This is what it's all about in San Diego. The one thing about this backyard that's amazing, look around you right now, no one can see in. It's perfectly private. You know, you could, you could be here with you know, hundreds of people and nobody would even know it. You got a large uh, dining room table over there, and another little outdoor room over there, like a little party room right off the garage. You got an outdoor shower. Um, you got one of the, the main things over there is the Evo grill, which you don't see very many of those, but those are amazing. So tons of different areas. So if you wanted to, if you had a crowd, you can just put them in different areas and you have dinner out here, dinner, big dinner parties. I mean, that seats 10 people right there on that dining room table. Let's step down here and let's really experience this. Um, I love the outdoor spaces because there's a, there's a good amount of covered outdoor space, but then there's a lot of space that's not covered as well. Yeah, and, and you'll probably want to see this in the evening too, because we have all the lights. All the, it's, it's really spectacular here at night. The custom landscape lighting is just stunning. Um, and you probably saw from the pictures I shared with you, this is the stunning, the backyard is, this is the epitome of why this house is so special mm -hmm. as this backyard. 
Well, Todd, as we kind of wrap things up here, I think we should go change, maybe do a little yeah, dip that's, in the yeah, pool. That's what I was thinking. Maybe Margaret. we could head to the beach. We got a surfboard right there. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? There's fishing poles in there. There's uh, all kinds of things we need. So we can go down here and go fishing, whatever you want. Very cool. We're going to go live some lifestyle. Everybody, make sure you get in touch with Todd today. If you want to come take your private tour of this home, all of the information is on the screen. If you're watching online, make sure to go to the description below. Subscri subscribe to Todd's channel subscribe to our channel get in touch today because there's more homes that you have on the market not just this one but yeah. this is one of the best yeah and, and it's really easy to show so you know we can we can set it up at a moment's notice and, and get you guys in here very nice all right guys peace and love stay blessed any last words no i think that's it thank you, thank you so much for the tour all righty we'll see you guys later Stay up to date on the homes currently being filmed for the show. Follow us on Instagram at SD Luxury Listings right now. Specializing in luxury properties around the world and here in San Diego, Pacific Sotheby's International Realty is recognized as the industry leader when it comes to fulfilling your real estate goals. With more than 670 offices across 49 countries, the Sotheby's International Realty brand offers a wide collection of luxury homes, estates, and properties for sale around the world. Connect with an agent today by visiting PacificSotheby'sRealty.com. Rob, how are we doing? Doing good, Ty. Welcome, welcome back to RCV, Rancho Costa Verde. Good yes, there's no place I'd rather be than here at Rancho Costa Verde. And you got a full house in here. Rancho Costa Verde, really in a nutshell, is a, a self-sustaining green beach community, our seaside community. And it's, it's very unique in many different ways, which I'll share with you as we go through the tour today. But one of the big things, and most people love the idea of this, and that's why they get involved here, is that Rancho Costa Verde has a very low density. So 50% of our, our property stays untouched, left like Mother Nature gave it to us, and it's going to stay that way. In fact, in some ways, maybe we're trying our best to make it better. And the unique parts, as we go through, and I'll show you on a map in a minute, is that everything is built on cul-de-sacs. So you have not only low density, but you just have a few properties on each street. You don't have cars going by, and then we designed open space throughout and buffer zones. We stagger the lot lines. We're off the grid right now. We're watching football. We've got the lights on. People are having a ball. We're having brunch. Believe me, this isn't lunch. Brunch, lunch is coming still. <laughs> That's brunch. And we're off the grid. And um, we can do something here that really isn't being done. It should be, but it's not really being done out there. They talk a lot about it, but we're actually doing it. And we've been doing it for quite some time. We found this piece of land and it gradually descends to the Sea of Cortez from the mountain area at about 4%. And with the proper design, construction, height restrictions, CCNRs, you can do your, your best to really minimize the impact of the view. Yeah. Not only of the sea and the beach, but the mountains. So what we've done is you look through, you'll notice all these open space areas that are designed all the way through. Those are are engineered and designed and recorded that way and that can't change. So all the green stays untouched. Then we stagger the lot lines and we, we angle those cul-de-sacs to take advantage. You notice how the coastline bends as it goes north? Uh -huh. That's why we angle them so you can have your view of the sea. So we designed it specific to what Mother Nature gave us. Our objective here is that the view that you fall in love with is a view that your grandchildren can fall in love with someday. Absolutely, and you're not only gonna fall in love with the view, but you're gonna fall in love with the people. I've met so many of the homeowners here, and they're all so friendly, and they're all so passionate about what you guys are doing they, they here. Really are. And are. one thing that I love that you had mentioned to me in our tour yesterday is that you look for people who really want to have that sense of community. You look for people who wanna come out here and enjoy all the things that the Sea of Cortez offers, whether it be fishing or 
paddle boarding or snorkeling my drive down here with Frank today. We were looking at schools of fish just from the road right. jumping. I mean, there's so much to do here. Um, and the weather that we're experiencing today is it's pretty much like this year round. How much does a lot cost? Uh, and of course it can change over time, but if you call right now, what's the variance in lot prices? Quarter acres start about $22,500. And wait, 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 how much? $22,500, oh. I didn't misspeak. <laughs> uh, and it, it, they go from 22 on average, from a 22 to mid 30s is the bulk of our, our inventory. And then if you want to be right on the beach, which I know you mentioned to me. Yeah, which I, I will I figured be. I'd expect anything else I'm looking from for you. my neighbors right now. That's right, <laughs> beachfront, they go for 115 which is down here still the best value out there. They're 6,000 square foot because they're right on the water. And I'll build you a house for 150, 200. For three, 300,000, 350, you're beachfront in a gated community, 24 hour security services and all the recreational amenities that we're gonna look at today. So I'm pretty proud of that. Now Rob, as we're walking here and I look to the right and I look to the left, I see all the different casitas. Give us an idea of the of what those are really gonna look like and feel like because they're gonna be wrapped up within the next week or two. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be a nice little place to stay, come and enjoy, bring the family. They have the, the Mexican flavor and feel, kind of that old Santa Barbara uh, design. And it's yours to come and enjoy because a lot of folks that aren't in a position or don't want to build immediately have a place to come and stay. We're gonna have a hammock village right here and over here to relax, enjoy, go and jump in the jacuzzi, go play shuffleboard or cornhole or bocce ball. And right over here, Ty, we're gonna be adding a putting course. Very so nice. there's plenty of recreational things to do and enjoy, good food to enjoy. Uh, we'll have the barbecue facility done here pretty quick. And it's, it's your recreational area to come stay if you want and then the restaurant will be opened up when the casitas are going the restaurant will open up in the, in the clubhouse now that we are at paradise which for me is the pool give us an idea of this whole area and what's really going to be going on well this is the recreational center of the development right now go for a swim hang out lay out have a margarita this is yours to come and enjoy well thank you so much for this tour if you want to live life like you're on vacation 24 7 then you want to be here in rancho costa verde thanks again and i will uh let's go find me a home actually let's that's what it. we need to do no fish talking until we do that <laughs>
There's a long hallway in a really sumptuous master suite with a gigantic jaw-dropping take your breath away deck that overlooks the ocean. It's fantastic. You, 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 you enter this property, you don't want to leave. You know, even in the backyard, there's a natural gas fire pit, a beautiful entertaining center. Have you ever been to a store and there's this one item you want and there's only one left on the shelf? You know that <laughs> sense of urgency? I think we all can relate to that. <laughs> I know our minds are all thinking of toilet paper right now. There's one, one roll of toilet paper at Walmart. What's that sense of urgency on a scale to 10? It's about a 50. This property in my years of selling homes has everything that buyers ask for. They want to have a detached home. They want to have a private yard. They want to have a low traffic street or cul-de-sac. They want to be walking distance to a movie theater, to fine dining, to shopping. They want to have top rated schools. They want low fees that come with the home. This home in Montecita has all of those in spades. What do you personally love about the area? And uh, having known the homeowners, what do they love particularly about this area? Well, the area is wonderful. It's uh, just at the base and a little bit west of Rancho La Costa Preserve. So these are hills that, that people love to hike in and bike, walking trails. You climb to the top and you just, you overlook all of North County. In fact, you can see all the way to Mexico. Very nice, and what you guys are looking at right now is an opportunity waiting for you. The beautiful sun, the fun, the views. They're here for a lifetime, and if you guys want an opportunity to preview the property, make sure you get in touch with Brent. And as we kind of wrap things up here, what do you want people to know out there more than anything else about this home, or about this area, or about the lifestyle of just living in the city? You're going to think we coordinated our notes because what I want to mention is the lifestyle. You know, I've made about 40 trips to this property in the last week. Wow. And virtually yeah. every, well, it's close, right? <laughs> virtually. <laughs> Not on foot, though. There you know, we go. I'm moving. I'm insulated. <laughs> yeah. But virtually every time I've gone there, Ty, there are moms pushing strollers. There are dads out walking or, you know, throwing a ball in the park with their kids. Uh, yesterday, I just finished waxing my car and drove through. And to my surprise, there's this gigantic cloud of, you know, those soap bubbles that the kids blow. Uh -huh. I was thrilled to wipe it back down after I went through. I'm like, this is great. Reminds me of when my kids were kids and not yeah. grown-ups, you know. You, you're just getting an entire lifestyle, and I don't want anyone to forget that the most beautiful Southern California beaches are about a five minute drive from this property. Very nice, I'm looking at the beaches right now. I think we should go there, Brent. Let's do it. Um, everybody out there, make sure you get in touch today. This opportunity will not and should not last long. Brent, as always, uh, we'll do an air. There, there we go, go. we're COVID friendly. An air elbow bump, air I like elbow it. elbow bump, and I know I'll see you again soon. Yeah, thank you. Specializing in properties around the world and here in San Diego, Pacific Sotheby's International Realty provides exceptional service, in-depth market knowledge, and unmatched marketing opportunities to buyers and sellers. The Sotheby's brand understands the importance of lifestyle in your search for the perfect home. Whether you're looking to buy internationally or locally, our industry-leading agents are prepared to meet your real estate objectives. Let Pacific Sotheby's lead the way for your search in the extraordinary. Stay up to date on the homes currently being filmed for the show. Follow us on Instagram at SD Luxury Listings right now. Hello, everybody. Back in studio, we have Brent Humphreys. We are still social distance. We are. I counted, this is six feet, guys. <laughs> um, so you have a new property, a new listing hitting the market. Give us an overview of the home and what you love about it. Well, this is a beautiful property in La Costa Greens in the gated community of Belarus. 4,913 square feet, five beds, five baths, plus a downstairs office and a master retreat, and a dressing room, wow. and a formal living room, and a dining room, like 10 sets of doors to get to the outside, because the yard is paradise, saltwater pool, saltwater spa, gorgeous lush grounds, potting areas, outdoor kitchen area with serving counter. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal property. And over a third of an acre, powered by solar, 
gated community, no neighbor behind. It is, it's a showstopper. And as you say, a gated community, it's one of the best communities here in Southern California. Give us an overview. Yeah, so this is in the heart of La Costa. It is just steps from the Omni La Costa Resort and Spa, which people come from all over the world to see. There's plenty of golf, there's plenty of shopping, walking trails, and then there's the Presidio. The Presidio is like a common area on steroids. Can I say that? <laughs> There's a, there's a clubhouse, fitness facilities, junior Olympic sized pool, outdoor kitchen area, barbecue, walking trails, interconnected parks, just an absolutely phenomenal place to live. And I love what the builder did. So the builder of this home is Cole Rich. I have a very similar home built by Cole Rich a year apart, but this home just demonstrates the builder's command on understanding how to interconnect interior and exterior spaces. There are French doors all over this property where you can step out from virtually everywhere. When you pull up to this property and you get out of your car, you're just amazed at the curb. This home is frothing with curb appeal. And you walk up these steps into a dramatic gated courtyard entry. And it really sets the tone for the rest of the home. You walk up, you enter into a jaw-dropping foyer. There's a beautiful oversized downstairs office and a guest suite with exterior access right there on the left. And then you go down this long formal hall. You have a formal living room with French doors that open to the fire pit outside. The dining room is amazing. The dining room has its own French doors to the courtyard. So if you invite a lot of people over, they, some can sit inside, some can sit outside because hey, we're in Southern California. But you walk through this approach with dual butler's pantry and a wine fridge just to get into the formal dine. The kitchen's everything you want, stainless steel appliances, spacious island, double oven, sub-zero refrigerator, just fantastic and it overflows into the family room. Upstairs and down there are long flowing hallways, wide hallways. The master suite is, is really like a, a spa in and of itself. The master bath is gigantic, I mean it's rumored that Costco could probably feature some of its aisles <laughs> for overflow shopping. This master bath is huge. and then. After the master bath, after the retreat, after the sleeping area, there's a large dressing room, which could be a nice private home gym as well, with wall-to-wall -wall clothing storage. It's, it's, they've, this builder has thought of everything. Absolutely. Everybody out there, get in touch with Brent. This property is waiting for you. Thanks, as always, for coming in studio, and I look forward to seeing what you have next, because you always have a great property for everybody out there. Stay up to date on the homes currently being filmed for the show. Follow us on Instagram at SD Luxury Listings right now.